Previously on the Z1 podcast. There's a letter on the table. He just calls himself Jay and he wants to meet. Let's hear him out and say we'll get back to him. It's two minutes past midnight. Why is he not here? I think he's there now. Yep, there's a zombie right behind him. Jay! Forget about shouting. Wait, is he still alive? Uh, no. Found his keys. Come on. Whoa, I found a table. Can we go home, please? What's up? This is a coffin. Warning, this is a work of fiction. Everything you're about to hear has been fabricated, including the character opinions, and all events that follow should be considered as entirely imaginary. Even the hamster isn't real. The town of Farringdon does exist, however, and it's actually all right. So go visit if you want. Have some fun in Farringdon. I'm just trying to wind up radio again. Nah. It's just that warning message about staying out of cities and not approaching the undead. Finally. Advice that everyone can agree on. On Hull, Lancaster, Leeds, Leicester, Lichfield, Lincoln, Liverpool. Are they actually naming every city? It's 51, so count them when the message next repeats. Newcastle upon Tyne, Norwich, Nottingham. Oxford, Peterborough. They didn't say Northampton. Northampton can't be a city. It's a shithole. A shitty? Is Swindon a city? Wasn't it shortlisted for the Platinum Jubilee or something? I think that's what finished Her Majesty's poor heart off. Imagine having to bestow the honour of granting city status for a place whose most famous landmark is a large roundabout. Over my dead body, she probably thought. Wonder what she would have made of all this. The Queen? She would have hated it. She never liked anything that got in the way of her horse racing. Wars, Covid, fog. Perhaps she didn't die of a heart attack. Perhaps she's all zombified and staggering around the gardens of Windsor Castle, falling into bushes and trying to bite butlers. Yeah, you're probably thinking about Princess Margaret and her G&T days. <laughs> Why did you want me to go back to the message anyway? Just to see if there's any change or if it's still on a loop. It's on a loop. Well, that's it then. We're officially 100% on our Todd. What happened to the government's three-part plan? What was their slogan this time? Evacuate the children, adulterate the streets, extricate the vulnerable. Exasperate the rest of us. Well, one out of three. They got the kids out. I'll give them credit for that. I needed a dictionary for the other two, but they haven't done them. Example A, our road. It's got what? One, two, three. seven. Seven zombies in it. So the adulteration didn't exactly go well. Yet. Forget it, Katie. As far as our glorious leaders are concerned, it's game over. The die is cast. The turkey is cooked. It's a penalty to United. The last bus has left the station, and so on and so on. That happened the minute they switched the emergency broadcast on. Fucking thing. Remain Remain inside inside as much as possible. possible. Only leave leave your house if it's absolutely absolutely necessary. necessary. Keep Keep to open open spaces. spaces. Wear comfortable comfortable but durable durable clothing. clothing. For example, example, jeans jeans to protect protect yourself yourself from bites and scratches. Denim's back in style then. It's quite tough, so yeah, I guess. Do you want to know what your best material to wear in a situation? Mm, bubble wrap. It confuses shit out of those heads. No, latex. Anyone into BDSM is probably golden shower right now. Oh, you'll get that squeaky noise like when you try and bite a balloon. Oh, I've got that noise in my head now. Did you have to? OK, OK. Let's, let's try biting something else. We need to sort out some food in a bit. What tantalising treats have you got in store today then, Jamie Oliver? Well, remember when we went back to Jay's house last week and you found that dog in his chest freezer? Oh, God, don't remind me. I couldn't get out of the room quick enough. That poor animal. Wait, we're not having dog for dinner, are we? Zombie apocalypse or not, I am not eating someone's pet. Don't make me. Well, I won't tell you about the people I found then. What did you say? Nothing, dear. You were saying about your apocalypse diet. I am not eating a dog. Will you calm down? We're not eating it. Besides, if pets were on the menu, we'd have eaten Hendrix by now. Look at him, he's massive. He's been eating like royalty off your mum's cake for weeks. He's not fat. He looks triangular. Did you give him a whole slice of cake last night? Oh, didn't you even crumble it up or anything? It looks like he swallowed it whole, for fuck's sake. Oh, 
Macaulay RSPCA on me. Oh, wait. Anyway, look, if you'd have dug around that freezer for a bit more, you would have found some fish at the bottom. So, happy days. That and the two dead people. I heard you the first time. I was trying to avoid having that conversation, but since you appear to be persistently wanting to tell me that you also found people dead in Jay's freezer, mainly because you're so desperate to prove that you were right about him being a psychopath, let's talk about it, Aaron. Tell me about the dead people in the freezer and try not to smirk. I'm not smirking. It's very serious. I mean, I'm not going to speculate as to why he's in the house, but Crazy Lou can get away with anything nowadays and blame it on the zombies. In other words, what you're telling me is that you were right. Well, I'm not going to say I called it, but... Look, I'm not going to mention it again, OK? Luckily, the fish in his freezer was in a separate container, but since we now have no power, we should probably eat it before the smell starts to attract some attention. Can't be worse than the smell that comes from your ass, and that hasn't given us away. I can't help it. It's all those lentils. See, we don't need power. We can entertain ourselves. Although, I will miss that news jingle. Bong, 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 bong. Classic. God, I missed my phone already. Did you check your own phone and see if you had any battery left? I did, and it had enough juice to tell me that I'd missed three calls from four years ago, and then it went dead. Right, go on then. Think of a game we can play. Hmm. Ooh, how about stalk, bite or gobble? What? It's like shag, marry, avoid, but you're a zombie. Gobble? You don't mean... What? Oh, oh God, no. No, no, as in to eat or devour. Let's say I'm a zombie. Predicting your future, are you? OK, you're a zombie. OK, give me three celebrities. Anyone you want. Oh, um... Oh, Samuel L. Jackson, uh, Mark Zuckerberg mm. and um, Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, old Leo, eh? Right, so if you're stalking them as a zombie, right, that means that you're going to haunt them for something they did. So I'm stalking Zuckerberg because he stalked me with ads on Facebook for years. If you bite them, that means that you want them to join your zombie gang, because they're going to turn, right? So I think I'm biting Samuel Jackson, because even as a Z, he's going to be badass. I guess that leaves me with Goblin DiCaprio. Katie. Katie. Hmm? Oh, yeah, I wasn't with you there for a minute. Yeah, Goblin DiCaprio. Hmm, that sounds perfectly acceptable. Right. I'm thinking of free celebrities. Haven't we got any real games, like proper board games? Did you check the old storage cupboard? Yes, I did. And yes, we have. Technically, we have Boggle, Risk, Monopoly, Trivial Pursuit, Scrabble, and many, many more. Great. They're on the Xbox. Ugh. We packed all the physical board games we had off to the coin exchange Tombola. Oh, yeah. How could I forget Porngate? I'm still mad at you for that. You should have told them there was a piece missing from your chess set before you handed it in. That young lad's face dropped when he opened his prize, bless him. It was only for a local raffle. The prizes are always a little rough around the edges. We won that tomato quiche, you remember, and that was missing stuff too. What stuff? Well, flavour, for one. What made it worse about your chess set is that you then piped up with, oh, it must have dropped out, and then you had everyone on their hands and knees looking around the town hall for a pawn that hadn't even existed in the first place. OAPs, stall holders, kids, the mayor, the mayor, Aaron. And then you joined in for God knows what reason. I just got caught up in the community spirit of it all. Plus it was starting to look well sus because by that time I was the only one not looking. And then that old guy promised to make him a new one on his leave. Was that before or after the GoFundMe page was created? It reached its target, right? Yeah. Well, there you go. The whole town pulled together. Happy days. Well, at least all the pieces of the Jenga were there. I remember checking. Uh, how closely did you check? What do you mean? I counted the blocks. Did you read any of them? Read any of them? What are you on about? Oh, I, I may have uh, wrote some suggestive messages on them. What type of suggestive messages? Um... You look sheepish, like you've forgotten to do your homework. What type of suggestive messages? You know, bow chicka wow wow What? For sexy time, I wrote suggestive messages on some pieces so that if you pulled them out, you get a nice surprise. Not on all of them, just a few. It was during a dry spell for us, and I just thought I'd just spice things up a bit. Which dry spell? There's been so many. Give me an example of what you wrote. Oh, I don't know. It was a long time ago. Like, taste this, massage that, 
put your foot there. Well, that's just great. Ten years we've lived here, ten bloody years, and every community event we've been to, you've gone out of your way to humiliate me. I knew about the chess set, but I had no idea about your sexy Jenga. And we gave it away, and someone won it. It's lucky we're in an apocalypse, as I'd be too embarrassed to say hello to anyone. Why didn't you tell me at the time? I'm telling you now, aren't I? You always do this. You're so frustrating. (sighs) Did you find anything else in the storage cupboard we could use? Yes, I found this bad boy. (laughs) Professor Peppy, this is that Audi knockoff of Dr... The very same. I put it at the back of the cupboard because it tasted rank. But at that time, we had other fluids to choose from. I mean, it'll be as flat as Belgium now, but compared to slightly filtered rainwater... It should be an improvement. Do you want some? Mm, Okay. What's the most horrible thing that can occur? (laughs) It's still fizzy. It's still fizzy. (laughs) Mm. Oh, God. That'll put hair on your balls. Speaking of balls, why is there a football in the middle of the road? Ah, part research, part boredom. I was trying to see if I can get a match started. You wanted to see whether zombies would be interested in playing a game of football? And how's that research going? It's not exactly liquid football. Well, they have ooze liquids onto the football and I can't fathom out what formation they're playing or even on who is on whose team, but the ball has moved towards a goal in a sense. What are you on about? Oh, my God, you've made some goals. You have to have an end game, or there'd be no point. A few weeks ago, you were scared to venture outside these four walls and now you're gallivanting about trying to recreate the 1966 World Cup final. Uh, There are some people on the pitch, of sorts. What does that even mean? It doesn't matter. Look, there is some actual science involved here. I'm trying to see whether these Zeds remember anything from their former lives. Anything simple, like what a football is, and what it feels like to have a kickabout with your mates. I'm not expecting them to do a full gag and press or hold a high offside trap. Do you not think you could spend your time a little bit more wisely? Why? We're good on food and water. We figured out we're the only people alive still on our road. No one's coming to rescue us, and more importantly, no one's coming to kill us. So as far as survival level one goes, we've completed it, mate. Yeah, so what's level two? We're going to Tesco's. Tesco's? Doesn't have to be Tesco's. Town hall, betting shop, fishmongers, church. The funeral home? Sure, why not? Any point of interest. If it's listed on Google Maps, it's worth a visit. OK, Google. Where's the best place not to get eaten by zombies? Google's dead. There's no internet, no power. Oh no, I just missed adult conversation. I would say a vegan restaurant, but I don't think zombies have discovered wokeness. Wait, what do you mean you miss adult conversation? You were too busy playing FIFA 22 with the undead to have an adult conversation. Oh, I wonder if I can introduce some kind of loot box system. Do you see? Do you see what I have to put up with? Why do you want to go to a landmark, Aaron? Information? Maybe there's a central point where there's info being posted, like where to find stuff or rescue details. Maybe there's others out there that have just got organised. We haven't been out of our road, remember? Why the sudden change of heart and meeting up with others? There could be more guys like Jay everywhere. It's not a change of heart. Could have easily been us in that freezer, I know this. But if there's a chance our situation could improve with a little bit of input from others, we've got to consider it. Our worry is all. I mean, I know I do stupid things like the zombie ball game outside, but I am pretty safe, I think. But one day I might get unlucky. One day I might get ill. If I get eaten, who would look after you? What would you do? I'd switch to a 442. Oh, hardy ha ha ha. What do you want me to say? I can't do it without you. I'd be completely lost without you looking after me. Just answer the question. I'd do what I always do, I suppose. Do what women have always done. Just get on with it. Would I struggle? Yeah, probably. I'd rather you be here with me than being on my own. Why? You're not hiding anything, are you? You haven't been bitten or scratched when you're outside being a moron, have you? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. I just think it's now is a good time to cast a wider net. This town's maybe a thousand people. They can't all have deserted or died. We might find people we know. Or we might find people we don't like. Oh, what if we bump into that woman that always bangs on about the time a house got used as an interior shop for Downton Abbey? Imagine having that conversation and smiling politely for the rest of your life. Awkward much. I think you can put that aside given the circumstances. Do you actually know me?
next time on the Z1 Podcast. What day is it today, Aaron? No idea. Do you know what week it is? Christ, I couldn't even tell you that if this was normal life. There's got to be a Z out there that's wearing a wristwatch. It's the first time I've been outside in the daytime since all this started. The back door to the pub's ajar. Should we go have a look? You don't want to see what's in there, trust me. Pass me a lighter. What are you doing? I'm going to torch the place. Don't set fire to a pub, it's not right. Fine, but let's just go.